screen and we're gonna get going again. There we go. <clears throat> Should be okay. So now I am going to go back. Okay, so we are going to go here and now we are back. So, sorry about that. Battery died. Hi, Corey. There we go. I'm going to grab a sip. I, uh, my iPad was plugged in, but the connection wasn't good. So we're back. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Amber. You guys are all back. That's awesome. So yeah, it was a battery issue. Um, next time I'll have to check that a little more carefully. So this is what we've got so far with the bird. So let's keep going. Hi, Christina. Yeah, sorry, you guys, I had to stop that. If I had realized I would have wiggled the battery around um, the connection around a little more, but I didn't realize. So I am going to, let me just, I'm going to just take this because the, um, it's pretty dark on this side of the screen. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to work over here. So it's going to be a little bit easier. Now, if I put that there and that there, then that won't move. And well, that's going to be in my elbow. So then if I go here, you guys should be able to see it a little better. So this is what we've got so far for the bird. And uh, what did we say his name was? Nigel. That was it. So it's Nigel. So there we go. And Michael's back. Yay. And Ashley. Hello. Sorry we got cut off there. And so now we're going to do some wings. We should probably do something fancy for the wings since I have all this wire. And um, I like the original wing I did for the other parrots was like that. My sort of standard spiral thing. But let's try something a little bit different. So we're going to take this and... Bring this one around. Let's see at what height it has to be. So say around here, we're going to curve this one around. See around here a little bit. And his wing looks pretty puffy. So if we bring this one down here, this is where I'm thinking out loud. So let's start drawing something. If we bring this, like if we, I was thinking if we bring this around and then just kind of do that type of thing might be interesting, but maybe we should do the lower ones first. Let's try that. Okay, so let's bring this one down here and see how far down it has to go. So it has to go down pretty far. So say if we bring it down to here and then we're gonna bring this one up here. So we'll start with one feather, but I really have to think of how I'm gonna do this. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it like this. So I'm going to try, try this one. Bring this one, say, here. Bring this one down. Okay. And then we're going to do another feather. Okay. We're just going to try this and see what happens. Bring that one up here. And then another one. Let's see if this is actually going to work. Let's see what we've got so far. So this is, it's kind of cool. Um, if I bring this one up here. Oh, that's my phone. I'm going to leave that one. So we've been getting a lot of spam phone calls. So I'll just leave that for now. And we're going to bring this one down here and see if we have it, if we go down this way. This might be a hot mess, but we're going to try this. So we're going to bring that one around here. Um, um, no, that's not what I want to do. Because if I do it, maybe if I flip it, I'm going to flip it and try it this way. What if we do that? Yeah, go that way maybe. That's going to be better. And then we're going to bring this one around that way. Okay, and then we have sort of what's looking a little bit like feathers. And we're going to bring that one up this way. Maybe I should have given them a little more shape. They're a little bit stiff. And uh, without your spirals, I'd be lost. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, when in doubt, spirals. There we go. Signature spiral. Yes, exactly. Yeah, no, I love spirals. They, they're they uh, they're great. a great way to fill in space. Um, and to, get, to give your piece a little more interest. So there's... What are we doing here? That one, 
One, two, three, that should be good. I could have done maybe more there. And then we're gonna bring this one around down here. And then we wanna bend it like that way. So we're gonna bring that one here. And the other way to fill in space is like doing a chaos wrap type of thing, which is really cool too. So we're gonna bring this one here, form that one around. Now I haven't thought about how this is gonna actually integrate with this wing shape. I guess it can kind of like cover it up. So this one might be handy to do a tutorial where you can actually see it like slowly what I'm doing here. But it, the, the idea is cool. It's definitely filling in the space. It's getting a little bit crazy, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring that one up here. So it looks like feathers. It's kind of interesting. I like it. And then for this, because we want it to be able to hold in place. So what if we just bring this one around? Cause I think if we, if we don't like attach it in some way, it's going to be wiggling all over the place. So let's just try to bring it through here and see what it does. Oh, I should be closer down here. Sorry if I'm getting cut off. Uh, my creating wheels are spinning. Yes, of course. Well, that's why I love doing these live streams because you guys can spin off and do your own things uh, with these ideas. And once you have like the techniques down, that's not too bad. It's, it's a little bit odd that attachment, but it's pretty good. So now we're gonna bring this one up. This would be good in multicolor too, cause it's getting a little lost with all the gold wire. And then, so once you have it here, we can just maybe bend that down here. Okay, and then we can do the back little lines there. So we're gonna take this, take these ones and just go like down and maybe another one here and this one here. And for those of you that follow my art channel, I'm not doing a live stream on my art channel today, but I'll, um, I'll do another one soon. I try to do one after this live stream, but I find I run out of time. So I'm gonna have to find another time slot for a art live stream um, because I really enjoy doing those ones too. So now we've got these, we're gonna maybe bring that one down a little bit and down here. Here, and I'm due to do another 10 day challenge. So I might be doing one on my art channel soon for the 10 day challenge. And for the um, wire channel, I'll have to do one soon too. So now we should do some feathers out here. So let's just take this. It looks like at about the eye level, it goes back here. Uh, Lisa says to, to want to teach others your craft makes you such a beautiful soul. Aw, you're so sweet. I adore teaching and I truly believe that when we teach, we learn. And I'm a lifelong learner. So to me, I will be teaching uh, as long as I can teach for sure. Hi, Polly, you're back. So, uh, sorry we got a little cut off there. Or were you on before? Now I've lost track. Oh, and I miss Sarah. So, hopped on. Hi, Sarah and hi, Heba. So if I miss your... If I miss you when you come on, just let me know because um, sometimes I miss comments. So now this will be like the back feathers, like these ones here. So we wanna do the back feathers here, the back of the head, like the crown, I guess you would call them. And so what we'll wanna do is make them a little bit more curved. So if we take this and bring this one back here, okay, around. And then I like the idea of kind of overlapping them a little bit. So we're gonna take this one, bring it around and up. So we're gonna go like that. Maybe this one should be more pointy too. Let's try that. So we're gonna take that one, bring it more curved out like that. Cool. Oh, thanks, Michael. Nice. Yeah, I love, I just love teaching. Let me know if you guys, if any of you are teachers because I also used to teach at a daycare. I used to do, um, I was just like a daycare educator, but I also taught a lot of arts and crafts and um, I wasn't great in the discipline department, but I was pretty good in the arts and crafts department for sure. So, uh, so we had a good time, but I was just a um, temporary, like a substitute teacher. So uh, I would go in when people were sick and, and whatever, and that was super fun. So now, and the reason that, and how I got started in teaching daycare was at one point while I was selling on Etsy, I was really not doing well financially, like really not well at all. And I was like, had to get a job and I didn't know 
uh, where I could work because I'm, I'm actually, you guys are going to be shocked, but I'm a very shy person, like super shy. And so to me, the idea of working in retail or with, with the public or anything like that was very intimidating because uh, I've been doing the art thing for so long. And so I got a cleaning job at the daycare and I was cleaning the daycare at night, late at night. And then um, the boss asked me if I could substitute teach one time. And I'm like, okay. So I started substitute teaching at the daycare and I did that for years and I loved it. I adore kids. They're so, so creative. So anyways, I'm blabbering on again. Hi, Omri, you're here. And hi, Snowflake. Nice, nice. And Maggie, well, we have lots of people hopping on and don't forget to like. Thanks, Mirta. Yeah, don't forget to like the video. That would be awesome. Wow, he's coming along. I like these feathers. This guy is super cool, Mirta. Thank you for suggesting it. But now I have to figure out how to attach them together at the top. That's going to be the that's going to be the hard part. So now we have to do like a kind of a loop thing at the at the top. So let's just bend these two together. If we hold these in place, I'm going to just maybe curve that out. Hold these in place. And children are amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've had some really interesting jobs. Actually, I was just talking to somebody today on my comic Facebook page um, about, a, and I was saying one of my favorite jobs I ever had was cleaning. And I used to clean in a in hotels when I was a teenager. I had summer jobs, uh, clean, uh, housekeeping, cleaning rooms in hotels. And I loved it. I just loved the repetition. I loved the feeling of accomplishment, you know, when the rooms were clean. And, and I loved the solitude of, of being alone and just doing my thing. And, um, and then over the years, I've done a lot of cleaning jobs, like private cleaning jobs in, in ap apartments for elderly people and stuff. And it was really, one, really my favorite job, you know, job, job like that. And I just like, I just love the meditative quality of it as well. And um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, so now we're gonna take this one and do a loop at the top. So we need a loop, cause this will be, this will be a pendant after all. Otherwise I could have like finished it in a different way. I was thinking to get it freestanding, but I think we're just gonna do a pendant. So we need to do a loop. We're gonna do a loop like this. And we're gonna bring this one around, around and around. And we are going to take this, bring this one around. And I'm gonna to have to pull it around again so it's actually gonna catch that wire and hold this in place. So we're gonna do this. Uh, I do housekeeping as well, or I did my boys keep me, yes, yeah, for sure. I'm sure your boys keep you super busy. Yeah, housekeeping was a great job. I actually, um, at my old university, my summer job was to clean rooms in the residences because they would get the um, Toronto Argonauts base, uh, football team would stay in the residences uh, while they trained in the summer at the University of Guelph. And uh, their rooms were always immaculate. Oh my goodness, extremely, extremely tidy. So that was an easy job. So now, there, <laughs> Mirta, there's your angry parrot. He's kind of cool. He turned out well. I mean, it's it's a little hard to see the details because he's all gold, but I'll put a picture of him in the description. Let me just pull it up so you can see. It's a pretty bird. So he's supposed to look angry, but we'll see. So this is, the detail's pretty good. Um, there may be some way to add, like to do it again and put some color on it or something, but that's sort of like the basic, basic shape. Uh, with that angry bird. <laughs> he's beautiful. Oh, and he's a pretty bird. Yeah, he doesn't look as angry, but maybe I could do another one another time and, um, and make it look more angry. But there's your basic design. I'll put a picture in the description and I'm just gonna grab a little sip of water here. And maybe I'll do, I could do another quick parrot. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys have time and I could do another quick parrot. I love them. Aw, thanks, Lisa. So, so if you're, if you're, if you like, I could do this one like super quick if you're interested. So just let me know, maybe I'll get a different color. Actually, I could get different colors. What colors would parrots be? 
I have time. Go for it. Yay. And Amber, I understand if you have to go because I know um, I know you have a busy Wednesday. But I'm going to pull out a bunch of colors here and see what we have. And I have a bunch of different ones. Okay. And let's see what we got. Uh, pink. It's green. Let's have some green. This one's nice. I'm sure I like that green. I'm going to do that one. And then um, silver. This is the Benacrete wire. It's a really bad wire. It's very soft. So I don't like that wire. And I'm just going to see if I have like a goldish wire. Maybe I'll use some of the... I have red. And I have hot pink. Wow. And I have yellow. So let me just see what I have. Red or blue. Cool. I'm free all day. Nice. <laughs> So let me just do a quick peek see for a colored picture of a um, parrot. I'm gonna look, go on Google. I'm gonna look up a picture of a parrot and see, and you guys can have a look at these colors. And maybe I'll do like, I'll use silver this time if I could find some silver wire. So here's some silver and a parrot. Parrot, picture, I'm gonna look. Oh yeah, there's red on parrots. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm gonna look for images and, ooh, oh my, wow. Okay, here's a nice picture. There we go. Wow, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful picture of a parrot. I like that you kind of see the back too, although you wouldn't have to do the back. He doesn't really have anything on his head. He doesn't have feathers on his head, which is interesting. So, but to do the bird, you kind of come around and he's got like the beak type of thing. And then the eye is more here. So, but this is like red with the eye. This is white. Is that black under there? Oh yeah, that the mouth is like, oh wow. Yeah, look at that. So the mouth, beak thing this is like half black half white so if we go like that type of thing okay it's not going to be it's definitely not going to be perfect but this is the idea so this is like red this is white or it could be silver and then this comes around and then this comes around here and then this comes around like that and that down and then these if i want to more do a this is maybe going to be a little complicated to do it that way but i i could just do a sideways so these are like red to there and then like yellow yellow red and then like blue 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 and then the tail is like red again so that's really beautiful. We can see what we can do with that. Um, my friend had a parrot that would tell people to come in. Oh, that's so cool. Mm. I love that. So what we can do is maybe start with a silver shape and go in with some other colors. We can try that. Um, I'm gonna just play with it because I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do with this, but we can just play with it. And then maybe add some colors. Maybe I should've got some thinner wire to add the colors with, because this, um, or maybe start with a thicker wire, an 18 gauge wire to start. Might be better I mean, if it's gonna hold its shape. Um, I'll just start with this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just get my pliers here. Amber says, Paris are definitely one of my personal favorites. They're absolutely incredible. We care for one tiny and uh, one in, named Samson. Oh, how cool. I didn't know you, you had parrots as well. That's really cool. I love that. So now we're going to, yeah, the beak is sort of white and black. So what we're going to do is just take this and maybe just do the beak 
here. So we're gonna just do this. I'm just gonna start it. Start by starting because you just never know what's gonna happen. So now we're gonna take this, bring this one back here and then around. Oop, my wish died. So we're gonna bring that one around here and then around here. And then we're gonna take this one here and just, I'm really just gonna do a basic shape right now, just to have a starting point for this. And up here, this is gonna not look like much at all, but I'm gonna just try to do something like this first. And this goes like kind of below there and around and around here. So what if we just started with something like that yeah, there's not much above the beak actually. And then we're gonna take this one up and then take this around. And this will be like our basic skeleton of the parrot, just to try it. Okay. Uh, Michael had an Amazon parrot growing up. How cool, wow, that's really neat. How long do parrots live anyways? Uh, so man meat says what gauge so this is 20 I was thinking I might have preferred to start with 18 but this is 20 gauge wire and then right away I'm just going to do the loop because this will be a this will be a um, pendant so I'm just going to do a loop to start so we have something to hang it on so this is our basic prototype not prototype like a base for the parrot. It doesn't look like much, but that's the idea. So we have our little starting point. And then for colors, now we're going to have to add red. So not that red though, because this is, and this is 20. Okay, we can try this one. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, Corey says, I had a cockatiel for 17 years. Wow, that's amazing. That's really cool. So let's cut a big, long piece of red. Uh, we had budgies growing up, but um, the female budgie wasn't very nice and actually killed the male budgie, so that was not very nice. And um, I don't remember other than that. I think I remember her squawking a lot. So now we have our red wire. This is where I get a little bit lost because we want to, and then there's also the black wire too that maybe we could do the eye with. I'm just looking, maybe even a little bead for the eye could be cool. Let me just see if I have some black wire in here. I have a little bit of black wire. And what if we did the eye just in black? I'm just gonna try this and see. Oh, thank you, Manmeet. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a little worried this one might not turn out as well as the last one, but you never, you never know until you try. So there's like, if we had a little eye, could just do a stylized eye. I'm gonna look at the picture again. So here's the picture. It's like black underneath. So I'm not quite sure the best way to do that. But what if we just took this we had the little eye, and if we just took this one around here, okay, and around, but I don't want this to take up too much space, so I'm gonna clip that, and I have a leopard. Ooh, how cool. That's a long time for a bird, 20 years. That's amazing, I love that. So now we're gonna bring this one around here. So say we just bring it around here. So that's like the first part of the, um, we gotta put that, I should bring it to the middle here. This wire is way too long now. So I'm gonna bring this one in here. So we're gonna go around here and that'll be like sort of the beginning part. That's interesting, I mean, it's art, right? So it doesn't have to be super accurate, but I'm gonna bring this one through. You just want it to kind of give the impression 
of the parents. So we'll see. We're going to try it. I'm going to bring this one up. Often these things take a few attempts. So we're going to bring that one in a little bit. Careful not to scratch my wire too. Yeah, I was playing with the slinky wire this morning, making designs and I almost cut myself. So you guys have to be very careful if you're making those slinky jewelries because um, it's like memory wire, but like on steroids, it's so hard and strong. Hi, Sandra, you make it look so easy. Oh, thank you. And um, Man Meep says, I'm happy, I've learned so much from your videos. I'm so happy, that's awesome. Helps with your business, fabulous, that's great. Good stuff. So now we're gonna bring this one down here. Maybe we should do my spiral thing to fill that in a little bit. That's what I'm wondering because it's very, it's not really like showing up like that area. So let's try to like get some, maybe try to get some more black in there. I'm gonna bring this in and this might not, that might just be silly. So we're gonna try that and fill it in a little bit more. This probably would have been better with um, thinner wire because this isn't super working like that, but yeah, it might've been better with thinner wire to fill that area. But you know what, this is art. So let's just go with it. And then as always, you guys take what you want from these demos and you can you know, make it your own. Uh, spirals, exactly. When in doubt, spirals. So there we have so far, and then we need to add the red. So we've got red and there we go. We're gonna bring this one here. And we're gonna bring this one in and just, maybe I'll bring it up a little more. So we're gonna bring it up here. Okay, bring it. When in doubt, go also like further down the wire so you have enough enough to work with. So now I'm gonna bring this one here, wind it through, bring this one around here, and, and it's 2.30. So Amber, uh, like I said, if no worries if you have to go. I know you have, um, you have something you have to do on Wednesday. So I'm gonna just do what I can on this one and then I'll sign off. But now what we want to do is we could bring it over here, maybe just to attach it so it's attached in two places. We're going to bring this one here and when in doubt, spiral it out. I love it. Awesome. So now we've got that and we're going to bring this one around here. So, and then we want to make it look like feather like. I should have maybe started at the bottom so we could have feathers underneath, but that's okay. We're just gonna take this. And what I wanna do now is bring this one, okay, it doesn't have to be too long at this, at this point. So we're gonna bring this one up and, and we're gonna bring this one, uh, maybe we could do that, let's see. We're gonna bring this one up and this one, get that out of the way. We're gonna bring this one down here Okay, and then another one. And bring this, it's gonna look like he has like a little collar on. So I'm gonna bring this one down here. And then this one. It's kind of cool. We can even make them more pointy. So what would happen if I made them a little bit more pointy like that. They'll look a little more feather like. It's going to take this, twist it a bit. Let's see if it makes a difference. Um, I don't know if it's better flatter or like that. This makes them a little more pointy. So Amber stays. Uh, you don't have to leave. Yay. That's awesome. Yay. Fantastic, cool. So now we're gonna bend that one here. So we've got that bird with a funny little collar. It looks a little stiff to me, but that's okay. And I'm gonna do one more. So we're gonna go one more. 
I could have done these different, if I'd done these different lengths, it wouldn't have looked so stiff, but that's all right. So we're gonna bring this one up here. So if we have this one, and then I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that one off because I could probably do something with this other one. And then we're gonna take this and then bring this one in. Okay, we're gonna bring this one in here. And let's see if we can get it to stick in there. There. Bring that one around and then give that a clip. So we'll give that one a little clip. And perfect. And then just get that one in. So this is what we have so far. He looks a little ridiculous, but that's okay. So let's just keep going with that. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water. The thing with this is you just never know until you try. So it's just, it's always good just to give it a shot and see how it goes. My iPod died, so for the image, I'm just gonna have to wing it here. So now what we wanna do is just do more feathers. Bring this one up. And down. And up. And down. I think this would have been more successful with thinner wire. I'm finding the 20, the 20 is a little thick, so it's kind of hard to shape the wire to get it to look nice. So if you guys are doing something like this, I would use, um, I would use like maybe even 24 gauge wire would be probably better because then you could get more fine detail. But I'm, I'm committed to this now because I started it. So I'm going to just keep going with this 20 gauge. And then if I was to do another one, I think I would try it with the 24 because I, ha I actually have lots of 24 gauge colored wire. I don't have a lot of 22. If I had 22, I might, but because I have a lot of the 24 and it's a good weight, it's not too thin, not too thick. I think I would try that the next time. So now, how much is over there? I think that's enough. So now I'm going to just take that one over here. Wow, that's one funky parrot. So now what we have to do is kind of finish this end off somehow. And I guess I'll just take this and bring it around to the back. Okay. And clip it. Uh, Carla. Hi, Carla. So now we're going to do that. And there. I'm going to put that in there. So that's the, that's the red. This looks really silly, but that's okay. So then yellow. So I do have yellow. So let's get some yellow. And I guess what you could do too with the yellow is just try it. You could do it before you add it. So if we just go ahead with the yellow and then make some um, feathers first, and then we're going to add them after. So if we just go ahead, sometimes it's better to make some longer and some shorter. So we're going to do that and just make a bunch here and around. These look like little hearts. Oh, Mimi hearts. There we go. So if we have something like that, maybe I'll do one more to be sure. And then we're going to see how that goes. So I'm just like making the feathers first. They are a little like stiffer than I would have liked, but just to give you an idea of how it would work. And then we're going to bring this one over here and bring that one over here. Uh, adjust them how you like. And Shaco, hello, Ecuador is having um, strikes. Ooh, oh no, stay safe. So there we go. Now we are going to take this one up here and bring that one underneath. So we're just gonna, we're gonna bring it up quite as high up as we can because we just want a little bit of yellow showing there. So now we want to take this and 
somehow get it to hold in place. So I'm gonna take this, bring it up a little bit and wind this one around here, wind it through. Uh, let's see if we can get it through there and then make sure it's gonna actually, like sometimes it's better to wind it over one of the other wires so it'll actually catch. Otherwise it might slide down. So we're gonna do that and then over here, we're going to attach it somewhere else over here. So let's just see. Oh, now it didn't catch. So what happened there? So we're gonna to have to see. Um, well, if it didn't catch, I'll just pinch it in, I guess. There we go. Sometimes it's better to start with a thicker frame too because the thinner wire, it's hard to uh, kind of squish the, the other wire into it. Like if this was 18 gauge, it might like impress into the 18 gauge a little bit more but it's all right. So we're going to take this here and oh, Mirta has to go. Okay. No worries. Watch the video later. Awesome. Hi. Hi, Jose. How are you? Hola. So now we are going to take this, bring this one up. Hopefully that's going to stay in place. This one's wiggling around a little bit. So we're going to take this one around here and just bring it Hold it in place here. And this too, I'm hoping it's gonna stay in place. The other thing I could do is just wind this here. This is what I do sometimes with our cake toppers because we make little heart cake toppers with names. And sometimes I'll like wind the wire down for one of the names and then attach it to the other wire. So if we do that, we could just bring this, I should have thought about that before. We can bring this one down the side a little bit, okay? And that's gonna hold in place. Click it there. And then this one, I should have done that, but it's too late now. So now let's bring this one in here. Whoops, those are my cutters. Oopsies. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it up after. So that's it so far. This looks like one hairy, uh, one hairy parrot. So now we need blue, but let's get a nice blue. Some of these blues aren't so nice. Um, maybe this bright blue in there. Okay, so Nathan. Hi, Nathan. And hope you have a good day. Thank you. So now we are going to take this one. This is a nice turquoise. It's actually, it's more of a, the parrot's more of a royal blue. Maybe this blue is better. Yeah, I don't have royal blue wire. I didn't think about that. No, I don't have royal blue. So what do you guys think? I have like a turquoise or I have more of a lightish blue. So let me know in the comments if I should use this turquoise or the lighter blue. I'll untangle them both and then we can decide which one to use. So we're gonna remove that. Yeah, I don't have royal blue, sadly. Uh, awesome parrot. Oh, thank you. It's a little hairy, but that's okay. So my daughter will love having this. Cool. So now, yeah, royal blue or um, turquoise blue or light blue, guys. Let me know. There we go. I'm going to put these back in the bag. Uh, turquoise. Okay. Thanks, Elmarie. I like an executive decision. So now I'm going to put this one Lisa says turquoise, awesome. I'm gonna wrap this up, stick that one in here. Oh no, my bag had a hole in it. Okay, so much for that. I'll get another zippy bag later. These things don't last very long. Okay, we're gonna put that one over there. Both blues, we could do that too. We could definitely do both blues too. But let's start with this one, just for the sake of time. And we are going to do some feathers here and then we have to end in red so let's just take this and oh this wire is really soft okay i didn't know that that's okay so we're just gonna keep it like super simple maybe we could just try it by hand too what happens if we just do it by hand because this wire is like super soft oh yeah see this is actually better to do softer wire because you're gonna get like nice curves from it there we go so I'm gonna just bring it around, skip the tools, bring this one up and around. 
It's this like sculpting with wire. Ooh, how pretty is that? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this one over here. I'm going to attach it and then go back the other side. So we're going to take, oh my God, this is so pretty. So now we're going to see if we attach it into where that yellow was, then we get that nice, here, we're going to bring it actually down there. Yeah, let's do that. Then it's going to hold together. So your new paper clips just got there. Awesome. Yeah, Michael's been making some cool stuff with paper clips and you sent me some pics, which is awesome. And um, that's cool. You got new ones because you said you had some that were all different sizes. Hey, eh, Michael? I think that's what you said. You had a bunch of different sizes. So there's that. And then this one we have to attach to hold it in place. We are going to hold this one and we have to like just bring it around a little bit. So let's bring it through here. And then this will help the yellow one sit in place because we're going to, if you take up space with the, with the blue wire there, it'll help the yellow one to sit in place. So I think that should be good if we just clip it like that. Okay. There we go. Nice. Paperclip ring making. Here I come. Yay. Well, I have like almost 70 paperclip ring videos now. When I hit 100, I'm going to write a book. And um, about 100 rings to make out of paperclips. So let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a book like that. And I might even put it on Amazon. So I think I might have to hire someone to help me edit it because it's a huge undertaking, but I think that would be a really fun book. And I already have one book on in uh, Indigo. It's my comic book. So I would love to have a second book. That would be super fun. So let's do another, um, another row of feathers. So we're going to go here up and down. And then again, we're going to just like curve it around. Let's actually bend this around a bit. So we want to like shape these in a way that they look nice. We're going to bring this one here. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Maybe uh, Amber, I can hire you to edit my book because you're good at stuff like that. And um, I'm definitely going to need some help with that. So that would be great. We're going to bring this one up here and around and up. There we go. So that's that so far. And, but the thing is I have to put this under that layer because these layers, th those ones are on top. So we've got that, got that one there. And then I think that's enough. You don't want too many. And then we're going to add a red layer. So we've got that. And then we want to just like get this to sit in place. So we could bring this one here and just wrap it around here. I'm going to put that over and bring that one around. I'm gonna cut it a little bit. There we go. Yay, Amber, thank you so much. That's amazing. Amber does all my timestamps for my live streams and that's super, super appreciated. I really, really appreciate that. And, um, and you're my quality control person. So that's great to have a, a how many, a, like a third set of eyes. I have two eyes. I have my eyes, I have my glasses, and then I have Amber, which is amazing. And we had a nice painting session last weekend. That was super fun. And uh, you did a beautiful, beautiful painting. So there is Parrot. And now we need a tail. So uh, go Amber, both you and Mrs. Heather will be awesome there together. Yes, we are a great team. That's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, so there we go. So we're going to do this. And it takes it takes a village, eh? Yeah, we definitely can't do all this stuff on our own. It's uh, and that's why I love this community. You guys are amazing, so supportive and uh, inspirational. It's amazing. So now he needs the red tail, and these feathers are gonna have to be quite long. So let's go ahead and maybe start in the middle. I'm just gonna bend it, uh, give it a good little bend like that and we're going a little bit over time today but that's okay we're having fun and I'm like I said I'm not doing the art live stream so I'll just stay a little longer here and then I have to finish a wedding cake topper uh, order which is for uh, people in a kayak and I have their names have to do their names on it so that's fun I do all kinds of like custom orders for cool stuff like that so um and then I go to the post office after this so that's 
that's my day. Oh, and I'm editing another video for how to make a martini glass and a um, wine glass uh, rings out of paper clips. So Michael, you are gonna have another design to do out of your paper clips. There we go. Uh, Chocon du Nima says you guys are always very positive. Oh, that's, that's what we're here for. We're just here to lift each other and um, it's a it's a happy place to be, absolutely. Yeah, happy you're here, fantastic. So now we've got the feathers going here and these are gonna have to go like down here. Maybe we're gonna just flatten these parts a little bit at the front. Okay, so see how nice they look when you just do them like randomly? You know, you can use your tools to kind of like fix them up, but to actually do the bends, by hand, it makes a nice like organic shape. And then this is gonna get attached here. Mark, look at my parrot. Look. Scalp. Mark's, Mark's looking at the parrot. There yeah. we go. Nice. Oui, 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 c'est ça. What? Mark and I went to Guatemala before and we bought, um, I bought some little cute little uh, bird beads that I used in the bird cages last week. So that's funny. I did birds two two weeks in a, lo a row. So now this is going to go in here. We could do another row of little red feathers too, but I'm going to keep it simple. So what I want to do now is I'm going to bring this one around here and this one around here. This project is so brave of you. Kind of ambitious, eh, Corey? Oh my goodness. I did not know I was going to go this direction with this. But you guys are super patient and uh, very encouraging, and I really appreciate it. So, so it's turning out better than I thought, much better. When I started that little black um, beak thing, I'm like, this is not going anywhere. But it is actually going places, and I'm super happy. So now, let's just attach this wire in here, and we're going to bring this one around. And around this would be a fun tutorial to do but I'd have to like really simplify it I think because it's it's a little it's a little complex so now we're gonna bring this one around here wind it around once and then we're gonna have to attach it some way because look it's like rolling around a lot so now what we want to do is actually take this wire and hook it into the blue wire so we're gonna take that one hook it in here and it's awesome. Oh, thank you. And Corey and I have to get together sometime because we live like two hours away from each other. So we'll have to get together sometime, maybe this summer, and have a little picnic and make wire together. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be awesome. I go to Ottawa a lot and you're not too far from there. So that would be great. So now we have to attach this side here and, oh, Who's leaving? Uh, bye. See you. Carla. Bye, Carla. See you next time. I'm almost done. Almost done. So you could always see the final product. I'm going to uh, post a picture in the community section when I'm done. So you can definitely see the final product. It's almost done. We're going to take this one around here. Wind this one around. And then again, we might have to hook it into the other. Look, we could even hook it into that maybe into that wing. I don't know how, what that would do, but we could maybe hook it into that wing. Let's see what that does. Okay. And then just to hold it in place. Um, mm, no, maybe not. I don't want to hook it into that wing. So I'm going to pull that one back. Okay, let's pull that one back there. Pull it right back. Yeah, I kind of like ruined the aesthetic of that wing. So I'm just going to bring it to here in here okay and pull it around there we go around there give it a good wiggle and this too it's like kind of going back and forth but you know what I'm not going to be too picky about it because it's just the sample clip that end super yeah yeah 100k so good thank you there we go there we clip that one. And then now let us, 
Awesome. So Corey's in for a picnic. That's awesome. We'll definitely do that. So now we're going to bring this one in here. I'm also due to go to the Byward Market in Ottawa because we have a, a beautiful friend there, Jonathan, that sells um, uh, hand-painted and printed um, t-shirts. He sells his art. He does mandalas. He's a recovering addict and he uh, basically, you know, was on the street selling his like artwork on the streets of Ottawa and he went into a recovery program and now he actually teaches uh, other uh, addicts how to make art and to um, run business and things like that. So he's an amazing, amazing Jonathan McAdam. He's an amazing inspiration. So if you're in Ottawa, go to the Byward Market and see him. He's a dear friend of ours. So this wow, this is our crazy parrot, guys. So what are we going to do here? We might have to like Maybe bring these in a little bit more. We can see, but it's kind of nice with the feathers sticking out too a little bit. So there's all kinds of things we can do with it. It ended up, you don't really see the feather anymore. It more just looks like a bushy mess, but it's kind of cool. And then maybe you can, if you wanted to like curve these out a little bit, I think there's a lot you can do with it. You can play with it. Maybe this too, you can like bring them out a little bit, but there's the idea. So there's our crazy bird. Let me bring this one up. And Maya, thank you. So, and, and uh, how do you pronounce that? Axi? Thank you so much for hopping on. So here's, here's the parrot. What happened to, what happened to Nigel though? Okay, I gotta find Nigel. Let me just see where I put him. Oh, here we go. So we did the parrot and Violetta, hello. We did the parrot and we did Nigel. So let me know which is your favorite in the description. I am going to post uh, decent pictures of these. I'm just trying to put these in a spot that you can see them. There we go. Wow, I can't believe we got them done. Amazing. Thank you. He flew the coop, that's hilarious. So guys, I super appreciate you guys hopping on. That was fun. I can't believe we got it done. The parrot, the coop, yes, exactly. So yeah, so I'm gonna um, take a photo of these and put them in the, uh, the color is nice too. I'm gonna put the photo in the description. Thank you, Mirta, for asking me to do the Nigel out of wire. I'm gonna flip the screen and say goodbye. And look out uh, later tomorrow for the martini glass paper clip um, tutorial. I'm going to flip the screen. There we go. So guys, yeah, thank you so much for hopping on. That was super fun. I really appreciate all your great suggestions, your great feedback. Oh, we have Hel Kelly hopped on. Kelly, we're just leaving. Uh, sorry for the, my battery died halfway through. So this video is in two parts. And um, we'll see you in the Wiremakers Club on Facebook. And we will also see you um, in the community section here. If you don't have Facebook, you can always email me photos of your work to info at heatherboydwire.com. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. And thanks so much, Amber and Clarice, for always moderating the chat. I don't know if Mustafa's still on, but Mustafa's always um, also a moderator on my channel and I super appreciate it. So thank you everybody, big hug to everybody. Lots of love from Montreal and we will see you the next time. Bye.